Now you can turn your plastic trash into a plastic rope just like this. Hey yo, what's up guys, it's me Mr. Gim here and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another exciting unboxing for you guys which is from the Grim Workshop a Cordage Macro Tools. This is from a Kickstarter campaign and I was one of the backer and I have opted for one of the Macro Tools from them. So let's dive in into the unboxing itself. First thing we will see is a membership card that they want you to join in as their member for a $20 every month and the things that you will get is listed below. Second item in the envelope is the business card where you can get all the social media handle inside this card. And last but not least is the actual tools itself where I need to assemble quickly over here. Alright, let's have a quick look on how to assemble this cottage macro tools. And this is the back of the tools where they laser engrave their branding behind which I think is quite cool and the choice of this material is like stainless steel highly corrosion resist surgical grade hardened stainless steel tough and functional so I believe it won't rust that easily over here we have the front cover also we, it came with all the bolts and nut together and one blade I do check out with an additional blade in case the blade wear off so over here in this example I have already done wrongly as the blade has to face down and the sharpest point has to point outwards instead of inward so this is a mistake that I have made and then I have rectified it after that and here is the correct version that you should do so the blade like I mentioned earlier you have to face downward the sharpest point cutting side has to face the one of the screw out there and this is how you should assemble not sure do I make any sense to you guys but this is just the correct way once everything is set properly it's time for you to screw everything up with the bolts and nuts use a screwdriver to tighten the screws and you are good to go so after everything is assembled properly now I have a plastic bottle my scissors and I'm ready to do some action so as from what Grim Workshop has already mentioned in the YouTube video you have to cut accordingly parallel to, to one of the line to get the straight cut from the bottle and it has to be perpendicular to either the floor or the table itself And this was actually my first time doing it and I have no idea how to go about it and I just keep trying and trying to see it will work eventually but apparently it doesn't work as according to what I planned so I have to look at the YouTube channel from their website and see how he can do it so smoothly So after viewing the clip, I tried again using another method by putting the bottle flat down like this and start swirling around but it didn't work as according to plan again. And I keep trying and trying to see whether it works, apparently it didn't work at all. So I'm thinking whether is it the bottle design plays a part too because this bottle has some design element to it. So it makes it hard and also the plastic itself is kind of hard. So that's why I changed to another bottle which is much more softer and after good 45 minutes and the thing works finally. So hey Green Bow Shop, if you're watching this, 
maybe you should share some tips on how to use these macro tools because I'm having a, some hard time pulling the plastic bottle or actually I should get those really plain plastic bottle like you use in the video so yeah so after testing and using it I must say this macro tool is kind of hard to use I would suggest you guys to use the dog tag or even the card and I will link everything down in the description box below it's already in the market that he's selling it right now and you can pre-order everything online and that's it for my video if you like this video make sure you slap a like button subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video okay thanks bye